Why, hello everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by VintageElectronicsGeek.com. I'm your humble host, Jack. In today's video, we're just going to look at some miscellaneous bits and pieces and parts and junk that I've bought over this past month off of YouTube, off of YouTube, <laughs> off of eBay. I got them confused apparently. <laughs> And uh, just thought I'd, uh, I'd share with you my, my bounty. I'm sure some of you are probably getting tired of looking at all this gear I bought. So we're going to take a quick break and uh, look at the, the junk I bought instead. So the best way to do this is just dump it out, I guess. I've got several bags and... Uh, Let's see here, we'll just grab these right here. What you're looking at here are 555 timers. And uh, I bought about 40 of them. Do I need 40? No, no I don't. But for 20 of them, they were cheap. And it's like, well, they're that cheap, let's just buy 40. So I, I ended up paying I ended up paying $1.98 for 40 of them with free chip, uh, shipping. <laughs> free shipping. It's going to be one of those days I take it. So, pick those up. Uh, I thought 20 would be just enough. Watching Doug Mosslack's video in regards to building his AM transmitter, uh, where he burnt out a few of them. In learning so I thought hey you know 20 is probably a good deal but at a at, uh, dollar for 20 I thought well you know 20 uh, 40 has got to be good so I I bought 40 of them so you're wondering well what about what about sockets yes I did I bought uh, I bought 40 sockets and for 40 of them I paid a dollar 92 with free shipping so, so when I burn them out, it'll be rather easy to, to swap them out. So yeah, I, I have future plans on playing around with 555 timers. Back in, gosh, when was it? The 70s and the 80s, Radio Shack came out with a bunch of um, engineer books, little tiny engineer books and I have a bunch of them put up somewhere and I just I don't have access to them right now but I do have one of them uh, the 555 book I have that on PDF so bunch of um, bunch of projects I plan on dorking around with let's see what else is next I, I bought uh, I bought some of these springy, and you see I haven't even opened them. I opened up the, the bag that they were shipped in, but that's as far as I've got with 99.9% uh, .9 of these items. So I bought these springy speaker terminals. And I ended up picking these up for a future project I've got coming up. Uh, waiting for all the bits and pieces and parts to come in. So I ended up buying... What did I buy here? I bought 10 of these. And I paid $1.92 for 10 of these. I don't need 10. Four, four would have been enough. But they came in a pack of five, and I thought that's that's such an odd number, and I couldn't have an odd number, so I bought ten of them to equal them out. Are you like me? You just have to have that equilibrium. Let me know. Let's see what else did I buy? I bought these. Oh, I wanted to tell you the the the, the quality of these. They're light. They're airy but they feel like they're going to do the job. 
and since all these are from everything you're going to see here today is from eBay it's all from China the um, generally as you know the the quality of the product is well is lacking however there's been some times that you do get a good product and I just so happen to have probably the best product right here and that's a stupid bag I as you notice I've been fighting getting this bag open now I bought I bought these these are also for a future project for the same project I've got coming up in fact some of these most of these um, pieces I, I have are for that um, project I got coming up these are three and a half millimeter stereo old school casing um, headphone jacks or microphone jacks and again the quality they're light they're airy but I, I think that they're gonna do just fine I mean I could smash down on these and I really don't feel any give so I, I think they're gonna be nice and solid uh, they did come with the screw and no washer same thing cheap I bought I bought 20 of these for two dollars a lot of this stuff is probably going to be a lifetime supply for me but again um, cheap so apparently when I grabbed all of the IC sockets I, I guess I didn't grab all of them out of my stash so got all those IC sockets speaking of ICs these have absolutely nothing to do with the ICs but they do have to deal with LEDs and this is where you say ah I see anyway these are the LEDs for my frequency counter they did come in and for these I paid um, I paid just under four dollars for ten of these shipped theoretically I only needed one but I thought well I'll see how easy it is to swap them out on the board hopefully you know the trace don't lift I don't have any issues as such that if it's pretty simple straightforward I'll just go ahead and swap out the entire thing and uh, have a nice new bright display on that old meter if I have issues replacing that one then I will just replace the one and call it a done deal all right in packet number two I bought I bought nine pieces again they were cheap I bought nine pieces and they shipped me ten I contacted I tried to contact the seller to reimburse them for the extra item I never received a, a email at the time of this video I, I've tried several uh, I don't know if I'll ever hear back from them but the attempt there is definitely has been made these are RFT connectors and you can tell that by the white foamy goo in there did I need 10 no but they came in a packet of three and I thought I probably needed more than three to run jumpers from one device to another and again cheap I paid four dollars and 44 cents shipped for for these items quality well these are light let me grab this is a T connector I bought many many years ago from Radio Shack I probably bought this T connector back in the 80s quality wise it is heavier noticeably heavier probably can't see it in this uh, shot here but 
the gauge of the, the metal is a little bit thicker than this. One thing I've noticed with these compared to the Radio Shack model is when I go to connect this to a device, there is no spring in this device. It's either on or it's not. So what I mean by that, it's either going to make a solid connection or it's not. Whereas with this Radio Shack one, it, it actually has like a, a springy, well this one has somewhat of a spring, but this one definitely has a lot more of a bite to the BNC connector. So here, I don't know if you hear that snap, makes that nice little bite and just grab anyone, anyone and let's see what happens. See that? No bite. Even though it did go up and it's up there as far as it can. See how easy that was to just back right off and pull. So not very secure. I have not gone through all of these to see if I get the same outcome. Now on my on my signal generator I actually did get one of these to make a good solid bite. And so at least on that device I will have a good se secure connection. Here, no. I could wrench that on as, as tight as I can as far as that will go. And as long as that stays stationary, it's secure. But man, you, you know, you make that move and you, you hear that, it just pops right off. So would I recommend buying these even at the price I paid? No, not really. I, I, would, I would suggest on these. The other items so far, so good. Yeah, you could buy those other items. But those, no. Go elsewhere, buy better quality, unless you really, really need to have the cheap stuff. Those will not work for you. Let's see, in this bag, I have... Let me back out so we can all see. In this bag, I have bought a lot of junk here. I bought a USB adapter for my cell phone. With it being the new uh, Samsung G8, they went to this new rounded connector. Well, the connector is all cool and everything because you can plug it in any direction. It don't have to be one particular direction. So that aspect is kind of good bad thing about it is I don't have any of these so everything I had for my old phone or plugs of that nature did not work so I bought this so I could plug a I could plug this camera in to my cell phone and I could download photos onto my cell phone unfortunately it will not allow me to charge the camera but that's okay I could at least retrieve the the uh, pictures off that camera and immediately upload them or video to YouTube um, or my website. I don't do any, I don't do social media. Social media, the only thing I do is YouTube. That's it. Or my website. So don't look for me on, on the Facebook, the Book of Many Faces. I do not do that. I gave that up over three years ago when I retired being a, a professional celebrity photographer. I've closed all my my professional sites and all that good junk. So here on YouTube or my uh, vintage geek vintageelectronicsgeek.com website is where you're going to find me. Okay, what else? I bought I bought two of these cables, a BNC to banana. I was going to make my own. I don't have a lot of this cable. And after the time I figured out buying the BNC connector and the banana, you know, you're not going to spend the money. You're going to spend more money. Probably going to get better quality product. But even if you bought off of eBay, you're going to spend tons of money. 
So I ended up buying, I bought two of these, and for two of these I paid $4. Uh, each one of these cables is three and a half foot. I've already opened up one cable, and I gotta tell you, it's a, it's a good solid quality cable. And I thought I had the other cable here open. I was gonna just quickly show you because it's already deemed that I can't open these little bags. I had to break out my knife and knife them. But the quality of the cable is really not bad. I've used the other one, like I said, and, and, it, and it works out pretty good. I haven't had any issue, of course. I've only used them just a short spell. Well, now this one is going to make a liar out of me. Couldn't get the jacket to all right. Okay. I thought they screwed in like a normal BNC. Apparently not. These little things just spin round and round. So I'm sitting here trying to tighten this like, well, why ain't it tightening? So it must be a compression fit. At this point, I would recommend that cable. Oh, I'd recommend this. This is a really good solid cable. Really well built. And as you see, it's blue. So that means it's 3.0 USB. Uh, let's see here. I said I paid uh, $4 with free shipping for that cable. Well worth it. I bought two of these. These are your binding post to BNC. Didn't have any and a few times uh, I thought, well... It would be awfully cool to have those. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. Not sure of the quality. Um, have not used these. They seem to be good. Solid plastic. I paid $3.60 for two of these. Let's see if they bite onto the post. Yes, they do. They make a good, solid mechanical connection. And that BNC, like I said, did bite into there. Snapped. Just the way you want your your peas, right, to snap. So that did it. At this early point, I would recommend it. It has holes in here, so you could um, take 16 penny nails and nail that to the wall. No, so you could take your test probe and stick your probe down in there. Very cool. Moving on. What else? What else? Oh. Well, I bought... Two of these, same story, didn't have. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have? These are just the opposite of this. Binding post, B and C. Same thing, we got the holes in there. And uh, have not tried them. Let me stick it into my DC power supply that way. I know. Uh... So, good snug uh, fit into the... DC power supply, what about this way? Yep. So, cheap early guess, recommendation. I would recommend this. Of course, time will tell. I paid $2.64 for two of those. All right, I bought a whole bunch of these. Now, these are gold plated, so how can you go wrong? Gold is at a premium these days. Uh, Apparently all the bags are taped over. So, what are these? These are three and a half millimeter um, stereo headphone or microphone jack um, plugs. And of course I buried, I got the meter in front of my, my container there, so I can't really, no. Oh. Here we go. I've been using this one. I got a couple. I bought these from Radio Shack. Uh, what was it? Last year. And I've been using this one exclusively. As you can see, I have a kind of a burnt resistor plugged into this one. I've been using this to plug into my radios and then plug into my meter to tune up the meter. And as you see, that kind of got a little hot and burnt. Since I only had a couple, 
I would just, just swap out and leave this about. Well, I thought it would be really cool to have cables pre-made. And so I bought a bunch of these. Again, I didn't need what I bought, but they were cheap. So I bought. And in comparison to the Radio Shack one, It's a little lighter in material, but otherwise, I mean, it has all the same bits and pieces, and I'm sure it's going to work just as good. Of course, time will tell. I bought, I bought 20 of these. I didn't need 20, but I, I bought a lot of these because I thought, well, Cables. I'm going to make up lots and lots of custom cables. So, like I said, I bought 20 of these. Did not need 20. They were cheap. I ended up paying $5. $5 for 20. So, that's what I say. Did not need, but I bought. Okay, what about mono? I bought mono. Same thing. I did not need... 20 monos, but I bought 20, again, for the same purpose of projects. I paid $2.70 for 20 of these. They're not gold-plated. They don't have a springy uh, strain relief. They've got this little plasticky, strainy relief. They're crimped over where the gold ones are screw, just like the Radio Shack. I generally solder anyway. I don't really screw my connections. I always try to make a nice solid mechanical, you know, connection of some sort. Um, anyway, quality, Chinese, light. But again, custom cables, they will probably be just fine. Baggy did not have challenges digging into that baggy. So, not quite as good quality made. These little connectors here. I bought two of these. I got one of them in use right now. And these are BNC to um, SMA connectors. These seem to be good quality connectors. Light quality on the metal, but you know, I cannot smash them in with my hands, so that, that's pretty good. I paid two dollars for two of these. Since I'm pleased with the quality of these, I think I'll go ahead and buy a couple more. I could see where I will use them. Now, these these little guys were actually rather expensive. I wanted to buy more of these, but I thought, well, before I, I invest, let's see the quality. I can tell you right now, the quality of the bag is really, really good. Of course, I didn't buy, the, buy this for the bag. But the product, just from what I could feel inside the bag, I think these little things are well worth the $12, well, $13.50 with shipping for the 20 piece. That's 10 pair. That seems like a lot of money, and I could tell just through the bag that they're good quality, good solid quality. Nice hard plastic. These, even though I have not used, I can recommend these. Let me grab let me grab something for a comparison. Let me compare this product with this product. You probably can't see it on camera, but where I'm sitting, I could see through the plastic. I see where that screws into there or at least the threads. I see the threads. Here, I don't see the threads. These are light. 
but you know they're solid they do the job right not a problem these are Radio Shack product searching on eBay wanting to build up my stock because I have better quality I have the Radio Shack high, higher end quality ones of these and I didn't want to use them all up on a few cheesy projects like building these this little tiny cheesy jumper but I did want to use these on ends on future projects so I went ahead and searched and searched and searched and this is the, the best deal that I really found on these products you could buy about I don't know 13,000 of the audio ones where they got the where they got the set screw going through and that's not good because you know you got voltage going through here and you're going to touch that and you're going to zap yourself so trying to find one that you didn't have the set through set screw through I found these so good quality product I will go ahead and buy I buy a couple more bags of these and have those at my go okay so what else did I buy all right, so the, the next thing that I bought, um, as you all are aware, aware, for a project, my Syncor FC45 frequency counter. As you can see, I haven't even opened this up. A lot of this I haven't. I'm doing this right here with you. I saved it just for you because I knew how much you would appreciate that. I bought little capacitors. They're so huge, I'm going to have to zoom out so you can see. There we go. These <laughs> are really fat capacitors. Fifty volt at 1000 volts or that made a lot of sense didn't it 50 volts at 10,000 microfarads that's what I was trying to say these I bought five of them I did not need five I only needed one same story I like to buy in bulk so I bought these and I paid thirteen dollars and sixteen cents for them so we will see how they work they're at 105 Celsius and yes some of you already notated the the name brand they're Rubicon they do have a little weight to them I can give you that all that fish oil in there I guess so we'll see how those do. Like I said, I did not need five. I only needed one. But just in case I needed to have on hand for my next project or testing out speakers, I don't know. I've got them. And the last thing I bought, well, not the last thing, but there Truth be told, these were actually the first thing I bought. The caps were the last thing I bought. Were these cables. Needed new cables. I actually needed more cables. Buying all this stuff with BNC connectors, I soon ran out of the few that I had. And these are actually... Uh, 50 ohm pigtails that I, I bought gosh back in the 80s early 90s you could see how old they are they've they've um, tarnished on me and I bought these back in the day for my ham radio and my short way uh, my uh, scanners and had actually this one here was for my 
my SWR bridge, I think it was, my one of those bridges. And that uh, had BNC connector on it. I don't remember what I bought it for. But anyway, have those. Only had a couple pair right handy. But I was running out of them real quick. And these are fat and thick. And not too nimble of moving about. So I was needing more jumpers. And that's where these came in handy. And I didn't really want big, fat, thick cable. But I wanted something that was would do the job just the same. These are a little bit longer in length, I believe. These are uh, 36 inches, I believe it was. B and C for all the gear, and I got it all tangled up. There we go. Really, really thin. Super duper thin. There's a twiddle stick. And you can see how thin that ca cable is really really thin I bought eight pieces at eighteen dollars and seventy cents the um, cable on these are a RG 316 Trying to pull up the specs for it real quick, but I am not, yeah, not seeing the uh, the specs on it. But I, I think that, well, I'll, I'll throw it up in post. But I believe that these things will go up to at least a gigahertz or thereabout and handle, you know, gobs of power. So I thought these would be just fantastic for my need working here on the workbench. You've seen these in use already in a couple of my previous video, and I'm very happy. I'm actually going to use one of these, um, leave, it, leave it fixed when I have it connected to my signal generator and the Syncor FC45 frequency counter. And that's where it'll live. My thought when I bought these was, well, let me just buy a spool of the cable, the tools, the BNC connectors and all that gobbledygook and make the cables up myself. And I'm still going to do that, but I thought, well, let me just check the cables out first. The crimping tools, you know, they're, they're kind of spindy. And just in case this is something I really don't want or need, no need to have the tool, I guess. I don't know. So I bought these, and these seem to work out just fine. They're really good quality. BNC connectors, they snap right on. They make a good, secure mechanical connection. Very pleased. I would definitely recommend these cables if you need cables for RF use or just routing about on your your workbench. So that's um, that's it in a nutshell. I've I thought I bought some more stuff. I thought I bought some perf boards and I thought I bought some ceramic and um, open air variable tuning caps, but I guess I didn't. I was wondering where that stuff was. I went and checked my um, my uh, eBay um, uh, purchase history, and I did not buy those, along with a few others. So I guess while I was shopping for all this stuff, it was a oversight. Anyway, that's it for this video. Time waster, I'm sure. Like I said, most of it, all of it, I would recommend at this point in time. The T, B, and C connectors, I would stay away from those. I need to buy some more, some more uh, pieces and parts for that future project I was mentioning earlier. So when all that happens, we will sit down and build it. And you will like it. I know I will. Anyway, that's it for this video. Catch you in the next one. I'm sure the next one's going to be repairing this video. Repairing this video. What a dork. Repairing this meter. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.